what should be the proper cable size selection let's say for this 200 kilowatt motor basically there are three criteria we need to check first of all this continuous current rating of this motor which is 326.2 326.2 ampere with this we need to apply the derating factors and based on that we need to select the cable size number one criteria next number two criteria is the voltage drop during starting condition during starting of this motor what will be the voltage drop that means what percentage voltage should be available at motor terminal so that the motor can start successfully during starting condition this voltage drop should be limited to 15 percent voltage drop should be limited to 15 percent during starting condition and during continuous running condition this voltage drop should be limited to only 3 percent so that criteria also to be considered whenever you are selecting this connecting cable number three criteria is that short circuit current rating the cable should be selected in such a way that it will withstand the short circuit current during a short circuit fault condition let's say the formula the short circuit formula i short circuit current equals to i equals to k a by sq or t square root of t k into k so this is the formula where this i s h is the short circuit fault current k is the factor a cable cross sectional area and this t small t is the fault clearing time by the breaker connecting circuit breaker that means if we rewrite this formula a equals to ish into square root t divided by k if we put the values suppose all current is 40 kilohms so 40 multiplied by square root t the fault clearing time what is the fault clearing time small t suppose 160 millisecond means 0.16 second and 0.16 second in value of k 0 0.1434 copper conductor 
this vector this is as per IC 60502 this vector and ISH equals to so 40 k show these parameters if we know from here we can calculate the value of a that means cable cross sectional area so in this way we need to check the cable cross sectional area based on the short circuit current withstand capability of this cable this breaker for cladding time is considered 160 millisecond so we need to cross check this one also so basically there are three factors one is continuous current trading with deleting factors another two one is the voltage drop criteria during starting and running condition and number three is the short circuit criteria so that it can withstand the short circuit current during any fault occurs and the circuit breaker clears the fault